could the newest Saw film be one of the best ones yet? Remember, chronologically, this movie falls between the first and second films. The latest installment in the Saw franchise, Saw 10, is finally here. As the elaborate traps and sadistic games intensify, horror fans are left on the edge of their seats as we're given more insight into Jigsaw's backstory. With so much going on in the movie, there are bound to be some easter eggs you may have missed and a few references that you didn't quite catch. Spoilers ahoy! When John Kramer first hears about this miracle treatment in Mexico, he goes on his computer to get some more details. His desktop background is a blueprint of COGS. We all know Jigsaw is an engineer and architect, so this makes sense. However, gears like that are specifically relevant to the Saw series. Many of his traps revolve around the use of COGS, and the movies often zoom in on the trap's gears turning just before it kills its victim. If you want to get even more specific, the image of the two cogs working together on his desktop is nearly identical to the cogs in the penultimate trap of this movie, Saw 10. As the platform with Carlos and John raises, we see this exact configuration of cogs. Kramer travels to Mexico under the false pretenses that his cancer can be cured. At this point in the film, he believes the surgery has been successful and he's enjoying his time in Mexico. We see him on a bench drawing in a small notebook. His drawings are only on screen for a few seconds before he rips them out, so we don't blame you if you didn't quite make them out. If you did manage to catch it, you may have realized that he is drawing an idea for a new trap, specifically the rack. The rack is featured in Saw 3 as a trap that twists the victim's limbs one by one until their head is twisted 360 degrees. Jigsaw first takes revenge on his taxi driver, Diego. Diego's trap involves pipe bombs, blades, and duct tape. His hands are completely useless because scalpels have been duct taped to his hands. Obviously, we know you noticed his predicament, so that's not what we're talking about here. This trap is actually a reference to the video game Saw 2 Flesh and Blood, which came out in 2010. The character has saw blades taped to their hands in the same way as Diego. All of the traps in Saw 10 are pretty extreme, but Mateo's brain surgery trap seems extra personal. He was posing as an anesthesiologist in the scam, and John was told that he had to remain alert during the procedure. All brain surgeries require the patient to be given an anesthetic and remain conscious, except no such thing ever took place for John in Mexico. They simply showed him footage of an actual brain surgery. This certainly comes back to bite Mateo because his trap requires him to drill open his own skull and pull out pieces of his brain. All the tools he needs are right there for him. Everything, except the anesthetic. He uses a drill to cut open his skull, which is reminiscent of Saw 3, when Lynn is given rudimentary tools to cut into John's skull. She uses a power drill to cut open a portion of his head, almost exactly like Mateo is forced to do on himself. This one was nearly impossible to see. It happens so fast and your brain probably isn't looking for things like this. We know that Amanda has been helping Jigsaw with his traps, so we assume that she is the one kidnapping the victims in this movie. And while it is confirmed that she did catch most of them, there is one that may have caught your eye. When Diego is knocked out with chloroform, the hand covering his mouth looks like a man's hand. Of course, this could be John Kramer's hand, but if you've seen the rest of the film, you might realize that it could have been someone else's hand. Someone like Hoffman. After all, Hoffman does become an apprentice to Jigsaw, just like Amanda. The producer has all but confirmed it as well, saying it's a little nugget for the fans. Con artist Mateo is forced into one of the traps, and if he fails, a mask will close onto his face and burn him alive. He does end up failing, and we see the mask as it kills him. You may recognize the face as that of an ancient sculpture that John saw while going on a sightseeing tour of Mexico in the taxi. The statue is actually of an Aztec god who required human sacrifices. The jury is still out on whether John Kramer knew this or not, but either way, it's too perfect to ignore. I'm sure everyone knows this by now, but just in case you missed it, here's what happened in the post credit scene. We see Henry, the man who told John about the Peterson project, strung up with a device strapped to his stomach. The scar he previously showed John was a fake, 
but it looks like he might get a real one now. As we zoom out even further, we see that Jigsaw is not alone. Detective Hoffman is right there with him, confirming fan theories everywhere and making audiences even more excited for what's to come. If you're a die-hard fan of the series, you might have noticed the location of Henry's test as well. It is, of course, the infamous bathroom from the first film. This Easter egg is one that only the most hardcore fans dared to try. When John enters his contact information, he provides an email and phone number. If you call the number, nothing happens. It's just not in service. But if you give the email a shot, you'll receive a response containing a new number. If you call this number, which I highly recommend you do, you'll hear a very creepy message from Jigsaw himself giving you further instructions. I won't give everything away right now because you have to play the game yourself. The number will be listed in the description below. Call if you dare. And those are a few things you may have missed in Saw 10. It's still playing in theaters everywhere, so if you haven't seen it yet, run. Don't walk to the movies. The traps are incredible, the plot is easy to follow, and everyone should get that theater experience. Maybe you'll find even more stuff we may have missed. Don't forget to check out our other videos here at Flickside, and to call that secret phone number.